Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode here on Arjun Farms. Today we got a special treat for you. We're going to be doing some wild crafting with a special guest, my very own sister Krista. Alright, so hey everybody. As Krishna said, we're going to be wild crafting today. One of my favorite things to do. Uh, Mother Nature is full of tons of plants that can provide us with all natural remedies, no prescription needed. Absolutely. So uh, today we're going to be looking for cleavers, which are these. Um, they're also called bed straw or Our Lady's bed straw. The story goes Mother Mary gave birth in a mat of cleavers um, and traditionally deer often have their babies, their fawns in bed straw or cleavers. Hi, Mom. So okay. if you have deer around, if you start looking, you're pretty sure to find a decent amount of cleavers. So if you're in an area with a lot of deer, you'll find cleaver somewhere if you look. And we're in the country, so we have plenty of deer roaming around our fields here. So that means we got plenty of cleaver to look for. Yeah, there's plenty of cleaver. So cleaver is this, and you can, it's very identifiable by its stem, which is very square. Um, it has these little tiny toothed um, leaves, okay. and it gets pretty sticky. So. The more mature it is, the stickier it is. And um, they say, you know, if you're out in nature and you need a natural filter, you can find some yeah. cleavers, mat them together, and use that as a natural filter um, if need be. So, so that's one of the uh, things you can do with cleavers. They're called cleavers because they cleave to your clothing. So what, as animals and people walk yeah. by, they'll often stick to you um, that's how they travel and spread so fast. So it sounds like they have a lot of natural uses and you can use them for a lot of different things. How about for your own body? You can make these into tinctures, right? And you can use it to, um, for, as an herbal remedy for certain things, right? So today I'm looking for cleavers to make tincture, uh, an alcohol-based tincture. And so what I would do is I would find these and you just get a high-proof alcohol. I use Everclear typically, uh, put it in there. Put it in a jar, cover it with the Everclear for about two weeks, um, and you can get a nice tincture, you know, strain out the herbs after two weeks. And the tincture is really, really um, a strong diuretic, so it helps rid the body of excess water. Um, in herbalism, it's famous as a, as a urinary um, cleanser, so if you have any urinary or bladder problems, people often, herbalists would often recommend uh, tincture of cleavers for that. And it's good to clear out your lymphatic system you mentioned it's, too, right? It's, it's a very powerful lymphatic cleanser. Gentle but powerful, very effective. Um, I know a lot of women who have used it for um, clogged ducts when they're breastfeeding uh, to prevent mastitis. Um, it's good for... Um, I've had some people that have used it for uh, like swollen ankles and so you just take a dropper full in tea or mix it in water one dropper full every day and and they've had success with uh, clearing out you know fluid in the joints and things like that so it's really powerful you know lymphatic cleanser and it's and it's but it's also gentle and, and effective and uh, it's free so you know if you're feeling something that ails you that's like one of those you can try it yeah. the native americans actually used it for a whole plethora oh, really? of of ailments um they highly regarded cleavers and they used it for all kinds of uh, throat and mouth issues any type of swollen glands lymphatic system uh even if say you're sick you go to the doctor you're on a course of antibiotics when you're done with that course of antibiotics a lot of people say they'll take some tincture of cleavers just to help cleanse the body of that harsh yeah. you know the antibiotics can be a little harsh to the sure. system to the Absolutely. intestines and then the the cleaver can help clean that out yeah. bring everything back into you know a homeostasis yeah. type situation so i think that you can find 
uh, in nature, a lot of remedies for, for your ailments. And now that we have an introduction on cleavers, um, we're gonna go take a walk around the farm and try to identify it and pick some extra for you guys. So follow along with us. Herbal walk, here we go. Okay, so here we go. We're about, I don't know, 30 seconds into the herbal walk and, and we've got some nice cleavers right here. Um, so here you go with the square stem, the toothed flowers, and you can kind of feel that it's sticky. As they mature, they tend to get stickier. Um, and they can get very, very tall. So these, you know, it's early spring here in the Northeast. These are still low growing. They'll continue to grow for a while. They do get kind of hard um, as they get more mature. Now they're softer. As we're walking through the property we come up on a field that I always see tons of deer in there's always about 20 of them back uh, grazing in the fields back there so like we mentioned earlier in the introduction when there are deer there are cleavers so we've come up on a patch of the cleaver and we're gonna show you guys the differences between the low-lying and the more mature kind and that way you can identify the differences and pick it at the right time all right so this is a large stand of cleaver here which makes sense. Like Krishna said, there's a lot of deer in this area. So where there are deer, there are cleaver. Here's some low growing cleaver down here. You know, this is new, it's May, so it's small. And then we have here it getting taller. And you know, as the, the more mature it gets, the easier it is to identify with the, the stem, the really unique stem. Um, and like I said, it can get to three, four feet. Um, but yeah, this is a huge area. So if you're going to wildcraft and cleaver, you can pretty much take what you need. Um, they say that's what the Native Americans did. If they needed it, they just took it. It grows really well. Um, unlike some other herbs, you have to be careful about taking too much, you know, because you want it to, to regrow. Uh, cleaver, you can pretty much harvest what you need when you need it. Okay, so this cleaver is still young, so I have my shears here. They're a little overkill. I could have just grabbed scissors, um, but I forgot to bring them with me. So you just just go ahead and clip what you want. Now this, you're using the, what they call the aerial parts with the cleaver, so all the parts that grow above ground. The leaves, the stems, um, we're not using the roots at all. So that's a distinction. Some plants you, would, you could use the roots, but cleavers, you just use any of the aerial parts. So anything that's in the air is how I remind myself. And then what I do with these is, I take them home and lay them out on like a paper towel or a screen if you have that and just do what they call a fresh wilt. So I just let it wilt just a little for a couple hours and that does a couple things. These can be really high in water content which is part of their healing property but also I don't want my tincture to be too watery so I just let them wilt for a couple hours and it also lets the little bugs crawl away anything that might be in there you know they crawl off so you're not getting that in your tincture and then i would just go through and make sure i pick, pick out any grass or anything that came off when i was cutting them i put it in my mason jars what people typically use chop them up small put them in your mason jar cover it with the liquid the everclear some people use vodka uh, like a hundred proof vodka some herbalists like brandy the best so really it's up to you um, and then, like I said, you just let it sit in there two weeks, three weeks. Then you're going to take some cheesecloth, strain out the cleaver, and you're left with a nice dark green tincture that's ready to use. All right, so we've done our walk around the property. We've collected our cleaver, and we've got our loot here. So what are the next steps, Krista? All right, so the next step would be that I'm going to take these home uh, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna do a little fresh wilt for just like maybe two hours. Uh, let the bugs crawl out, crawl out of them. Then I'm gonna cut them up, chop them up. I'll probably use scissors for these. They're pretty tender. Um, put them in a mason jar. Cover it up, cover them up with uh, the liquid. So I'm using Everclear. You can use a high, any high proof alcohol that you prefer. And they're gonna sit in that for about two weeks. We're gonna strain strain these out and we're gonna have a dark green liquid left. And that's the tincture that, that you'll use. 
Um, so yeah, just two weeks, just basically let it sit there, swish it around, you know, every now and again, and you've got your tincture. All right, so for you guys, it's just gonna be a couple seconds, but we'll revisit this in about two weeks and show you the final product. So for the past two weeks, we've been doing our alchemy, and we have an in-process sample for you guys to check out, as well as a finalized product, but I'll let the expert explain the, all the steps in between and what we get when we're done with it. All right, guys, so here's my mason jar, and I just packed my cleavers, you know, after I let them dry wilt for a little bit, get the critters out and everything. Packed those into the mason jar, covered it with the Everclear, and you're gonna close it up, and you're gonna wanna let it sit in a cabinet for two, minimum of two, uh, two to six that is really ideal. Uh, and you're just gonna swish it around every now and again. Two Make to sure six it's, weeks, right? Two to six weeks, yeah. yes. Yeah. Make sure that it's in a cabinet because you don't want it in direct sunlight, you know, it is ever clear, so it's high alcohol content. Um, so just swish it around. When you're ready, you'll have a nice dark green tincture. I like to put it in an actual tincture bottle. You see the nice dark green color, that's how you know it's ready. You don't have to put it in one of these fancy bottles, um, but you do want to put it in glass. Um, definitely not plastic because the Everclear is such a high um, alcohol volume. The plastic will leach. You yeah, you that. definitely don't want that. You don't want that in, in your uh, natural medicine that kind of defeats the purpose. That's right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so awesome lymphatic cleanser. I've had a lot of people use it for, um, for inflammation. Um, a lot of breastfeeding moms like to use it. And so, so yeah, I mean... You got some awesome plant medicine right in your backyard. Try it, check it out. If you find that, hey, it works really great for this specific ailment of mine, drop a comment to Krishna so yeah. we know. Yeah, leave a comment down below. I think this is a really fun thing to do with your family or your children. You just go out in the yard and pick the things that are right in front of you on your very own property. So listen guys, um, I hope you, like the video, you comment down below and subscribe to the channel as well. We can do more of these videos as well if you guys like it. Um, but other than that, I appreciate you guys watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye everybody. Bye. 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 Baby Elias bye -bye. likes to wildcraft too. <laughs> Even babies can do it. <laughs> <laughs>